this video, we are going to learn how to solve linear equations with fractions, and I'm going to teach you guys how to get rid of the fractions to make it a little bit easier. So if you look at the top of the screen, it says to get rid of fractions in an equation, multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD, which is the least common denominator, of all the fractions in the equation. So let's jump into example one. We have 3 fourths x plus 2 equals 8. So we only have one fraction in this equation, 3 fourths. So we just want to multiply everything by that denominator. If we have more than one fraction, we're going to multiply it by the least common denominator, which I'll show you in number two. But because we only have one fraction, we just want to multiply both sides of our equation by the denominator. So we're going to multiply the left side by four, and we're going to multiply the right side by four. So we're going to distribute this four in on the left side. And 4 times 3 fourths is like 4 over 1 times 3 fourths. And we're going to put the x. And I'm going to write it like this to show you guys how to quickly simplify this. And then 4 times 2 is going to give us a positive 8. And then on the right, 8 times 4 is 32. And now the reason we multiplied by the denominator is because it will cancel out with the denominator of our fraction. So both of these 4s just turn into 1. So we're really left with 3x plus 8 is equal to 32. And now we can just solve this equation. It's a little bit easier because we don't have fractions. So we're going to subtract 8 from both sides. On the left, we're left with 3x. On the right, 32 minus 8 is 24. Finally, divide both sides of our equation by 3. We'll do it over here. On the left, we're left with x. And on the right, 24 divided by 3 is 8. So we get x is equal to 8. Taking a look at example two, this time we have two fractions. We have a two-fifths and a one-third. So what we want to do is multiply both sides of our equation by the least common denominator of five and three. And the least common denominator is the same as the least common multiple. So the least common multiple of five and three is 15. So we're going to multiply both sides of our equation by 15. We multiply the left side by 15 and the right side by 15. On the left side, we're going to distribute this in, and again, I'm going to write it as 15 over 1 times 2 over 5x, so I can show you guys how to simplify this. And then we got to distribute the 15 to the 1 third, so I'm going to write it as 15 over 1 times 1 over 3, and this is equal to 2 times 15, which is 30. Now on the left, we want to cross-reduce to simplify 15 over 1 times 2 over 5. So 5 goes into 15 three times, 5 goes into itself one time. So now our denominator is just 1, which is what we want. So we're just going to multiply the numerators. 3 times 2 is 6, so we get 6x. And then a similar thing is going to happen when we do 15 over 1 times 1 over 3. We're going to cross-reduce, divide them both by 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5, 3 divided by 3 is 1. When we multiply those, we just get a 5. And this is equal to 30. So we've we got rid of both fractions by multiplying both sides by the least common denominator. And now we're just going to solve. So we're going to add 5 to both sides. On the left, we're left with 6x. On the right, 30 plus 5 is 35. We're going to divide both sides by 6. On the left, we get x. And on the right, we get 35 over 6. I'm just going to leave it as a simplified improper fraction. So we get that x is equal to 35 over 6. Let's go through two more examples. So for these last two examples, I encourage you guys to pause the video and try them on your own, and then you can watch me work through them to make sure that you've solved them correctly. So in example three, we have three fractions. So we have 7 eighths x minus 3 fourths is equal to 1 half. We're going to do the same thing we did in number two. We just have to find the least common denominator of all three fractions. So the least common denominator is going to be the least common multiple of 8, 4, and 2, which is 8. So we want to multiply both sides of our equation by 8. On the left, we're going to distribute this in. So it's going to be 8 over 1 times 7 eighths x. And then we have to multiply, we're going to have minus 8 over 1 times 3 over 4. And this is going to be equal to 1 over 2 times 8 over 1. And now we're going to cross reduce. So for 8 over 1 times 7 over 8, we can cross reduce the 8s by dividing them both by 8, and they both turn into 1. So now on the top, 7 times 1 is 7. On the bottom, 1 times 1 is 1. 
So we're just left with a 7x. And then for 8 over 1 times 3 over 4, we're going to cross reduce the 8 and the 4 by dividing them by 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 4 divided by 4 is 1. So now we have 2 over 1 times 3 over 1, which is just 6. And on the right, 1 half times 8 over 1, we're going to cross reduce the 2 and the 8 by dividing them both by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So we have 1 over 1 times 4 over 1, which is just 4. And now we can solve this pretty easily. We're going to add 6 to both sides. On the left, we're left with 7x. On the right, 4 plus 6 is 10. Finally, divide both sides of our equation by 7 to get that x is equal to 10 sevenths. Finally, taking a look at our last example, we have 5 sixths minus 4 ninths x equals 2 thirds. So again, we have three fractions, so we need to multiply by the least common denominator of all three, and that's going to be the least common multiple of 6, 9, and 3, which is going to be 18. So we want to multiply both sides of our equation by 18. On the left, we're going to distribute. So we're going to have 18 over 1 times 5 over 6. And then we need to subtract 18 over 1 times 4 over 9x. And on the right, this is going to be equal to 2 over 3 times 18 over 1. And now we're going to cross reduce. So when we multiply 18 over 1 times 5 over 6, we can cross-reduce 6 and 18 by dividing them both by 6. 18 divided by 6 is 3. 6 divided by 6 is 1. So we have 3 over 1 times 5 over 1, which is just 15. We're going to subtract 18 over 1 times 4 over 9x. So we're going to cross-reduce 18 and 9 by dividing them both by 9. 18 divided by 9 is 2. 9 divided by 9 is 1. We have 2 over 1 times 4 over 1, which is just 8, and it's multiplied by x. And then finally on the right, 2 thirds times 18 over 1. We're going to cross reduce the 18 and the 3 by dividing them both by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 18 divided by 3 is 6. So we have 2 over 1 times 6 over 1, which is 12. And now we're going to solve. So we need to start by subtracting 15 from both sides of our equation. On the left side, we're left with negative 8x. Don't drop that negative. Some students do that. And on the right, 12 minus 15 is negative 3. And finally, divide both sides by negative 8 to get our answer. On the left, we're left with x. On the right, negative 3 divided by negative 8 gives us a positive 3 eighths. So we get that x is equal to positive 3 eighths. So hopefully this video helped you guys understand how to solve linear equations with fractions. Just remember that it's probably easiest to get rid of the fractions, and to do that, you're just going to multiply both sides of the equation by the least common denominator.